I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on animal babies. In this video, you will get a glimpse of the wildlife which we have close to my house here in the city of Toronto. I live near Humber and go for a walk every day. Since last 15 years, I have captured some beautiful pictures and videos. So that is what I am going to share with you in this video, focusing mainly on the babies. You will be amazed to see the babies of deer, raccoon, many birds, turtle and even coyotes. Let us have a question answer session and let's learn something more about the babies of animals. Here are a few cards to share with you. Participate actively and try to answer as many questions as you can. I'll provide you with the answers also. Here is a newborn fawn. They have spots and they weigh 2 to 4 kg at birth. They are born with four teeth. Mother leaves them for hours. Fawns produce high-pitched squeal known as bleat to call mothers. Newborn fawns have wobbly legs. They start running after two hours of birth scrap on the stomach from the umbilical cord will dry away after a week. You can see it in the picture. Spots are lost in three to four months. Fawns after losing these spots are sometimes called earlings. It's a rare sight to see a newborn turtle, snapping turtle, returning home. They are very tiny, around 1.5 inches long. First few days are really tough for them. If they survive one week, they can live for 40 years. Here is a question for you. Let us compare the life of a turtle with that of a rabbit. Well, the question here is, after how many years will snapping turtle reach sexual maturity? Is it 4 years, 8 years, 12 years, 16 years, 24 years or 30? Similar question for the rabbit. After how many months, not years, months, will rabbit reach sexual maturity? 4, 8, 12, 18, 24 or 30 months? Hmm, do you know the answer? Well, for the rabbits, they start reproducing just after four months. What about the turtle, the snapping turtle? Well, it takes them 16 long years to mature sexually. You get my point. Many animal babies are called cub or pup. We have a list of animals here. Their babies are called cub or pup. Can you match them? Well, some animal babies are called both cub also and pup also, like fox. So the list is pretty long. I have some names here. Bear, lion, tiger, wolf, fox, dog, otter, seal, walrus, mouse, rat, coyote. While their babies are either called cub or pup, you need to match them. Perfect. Similar matching exercise is to find the name of 
the baby of white swan. So in this list, we have the answer. Can you figure out what is the name of baby swan? Coyote babies are called pup. Group of pups is called litter. Average litter size is 4 to 7. Coyotes mate in January, February and the babies are born after two months in March, April. Well, did you get the answer for the baby of swan? It is Cygnet, C-Y-G-N-E-T. I hope you enjoyed this. An amazing sight, watching a deer feeding. It's indeed a rare sight. I'm lucky to capture this moment. It is thanks to Granny, the deer, which you see here. We are friends for last seven years. I know her since 2013. Actually, when we first met, we were in love. After a week, she delivered a baby and introduced that baby to me. Since then, it has been a practice. So every year, I am fortunate to see her with newborn babies and I do get moments with the newborn babies and watch their development. We'll see many of her family members in this particular video. Raccoons. The baby raccoons, what are they called? Well, they are also called kids. They are as curious and playful as our kids are. They are very troublesome at times. It's an amazing animal which has conquered the land and the trees. It can climb very easily. See, the small kid climbing so easily. They are big enough to make a kill and eat. Do you see them exploring the Humber River? Well, the tree was just on the banks of this river. This, that tree was about 100 meters. And now they are playing around the Humber River and eating their favorite food, the mollusks, scallops. Babies spend hours and it is very difficult for the mother to take them back to their home. Do you recognize this animal? What is it called? In Canada, we have a day to honor these animals. Well, they give us an idea about how long we have to wait for this winter to end. We have a hog's day. Yes, it is a groundhog. What are the baby of groundhog called? Groundhog babies, of course. A family of coyotes. That is the summer of Canada. Along the river, we have a lot of food for coyotes. And so, every year, we'll have at least a pack of coyotes living here. They call it home. 
What are the babies of coyotes called? Is it cubs or pups? Babies are called pups and many of them together which you see litter. There are five pups in this litter. So cheerful and playful as all the kids are. Parents are taking good care of these babies. We are really fortunate to capture such moments. It is another rare sight. I am really lucky to be close to them. There are actually two families this season in five kilometer area. And now you will understand why do we have so many coyotes around. There is food all over the place. The ponds, they are rich with frogs, snakes, fish, name it. Turtles, I have seen three varieties of turtles in this area. And of course the deer. There are about 20 deers and every year most of them give birth to these cutie pies. Well, here is the princess of our area. She has twins this year. These babies are just few days old. You see the spots? They can, they still wobble while walking. Do you see that? So the baby is just about two days old. This one crossing the river is still having the spots, but is more comfortable walking. So this baby must be around a week old. Lot of geese live here, call it home. And gooselings, wow! Do you know this animal? It's called muskrat. Muskrat is collecting food. It has babies to feed. It's taking the food home. They dig burrows in the mud and have very special mud houses to live in. Their homes don't get flooded. It is so properly designed. Of course, coyote enjoys all of them. Well, there is plenty. All can thrive here. And that is the reason why we see so much of wilderness in this particular area. I call it Humber Trail. Every day in the morning, I go for a walk and that is what I see. Mallard, the duck. Can you count the number of eggs here? Very vulnerable. Most of the time, mallard will actually nest on a tree. So many chicks from those eggs. Do you see that? They're excellent swimmers and they follow instructions. After the rain, the river is flowing 
and these birds have the power the chicks especially see the young ones they can swim so easily against the current The Canadian geese, amazing bird. All these chicks belong to one family. And it is so amazing to see how all of them will get under them. In the month of March, it is pretty cold here. So the goose feathers provides the warmth. Early morning, we might have frost. Sometimes the temperatures are below zero. The chicks are protected under the warm goose feathers. What an amazing sight. When the chicks pop, and look at you and when the mother gets up and all scatter they always find some formations while swimming that is an excellent formation here is another deer with two babies now these two babies are year apart. So that's the new one which you see. The other one is about a year old. Red wing blackbird. A year old deer and you can see it has babies. The udder is filled with milk and is feeding. Deer can breed just within a year's time. And here we have our princess with two twins right amazing sight humber arboretum is a very beautiful place to be in One year old stag and the newborn baby, their cousins. These spots on the babies are seen for four weeks. Wobbly, 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 walk. One or two days old baby.
they start running just few hours after their birth that is one of the most beautiful shot for the first time i have captured twins feeding at the same time lovely she is very alert we are friends and so i can stay close to her and capture these moments one year old babies they love to play around river is a favorite site to watch them playing In March sometimes it can be very cold minus 10 migratory birds have come they are caught in this unexpected weather What you see here is a stack. Dominant male alpha in the region. Chasing the doe. Some of them are as young as 1 year this is 
a new dominant male in our area. Not liking my presence, those are the warning signals. It's pretty cold out there. Beautiful pink sky. What an amazing walk. The mating season for the deer starts after mid-October. During winter, they mate, especially in November. We have had a fresh snowfall and you can see a herd of deer Close watch by the stags is there. There are around three stags in this area. Most of the doe are ready to mate. The scents produced attracts these tags. Here is the alpha male. This male is a new introduction to our Humber Trail. The other alpha male who has lost its position now is standing on the side. Overlooking the situation, they do take advantage of the situation and they also mate. Gestation period is of 201 days. Bucks mature around one and a half years and do mature just in eight months. So, before their first birthday, the doe may give birth to the baby. We expect the babies in the month of May and June. One to two babies are common in our area. There comes my friend. She is with her baby. We'll soon get introduced. And that is how I get introduced to most of the deer in Humber Trail. This is my first sight at the fawn, shy. But they just follow the mother. There you are, playful, curious. Inquisitive. I anxiously wait for such moments. Unusual, right? 
white tail deer do you see that striking white color underneath of the tail that gives the name to this deer as white tail deer these spots on the body indicates that the baby is around a week old when the other visitors are seen they run away here is another sight well intruders humble trail is for all to enjoy there are many cyclists very careful they are they respect all the walkers and we love them foraging along the river is the past time for the deer of humber trail as you can see is very rich in wilderness the great blue heron mallard all of this side when the river walks and the water splashes the baby jumps over ground hog enjoy the wobbly walk of this ground hog tumbling <laughs> for the first time i have captured this moment of extremely young baby enjoy the walk
Waxwings, the most beautiful bird in our area. Normally, they will have two chicks, just as you are watching now, waiting for the mother. Another amazing moment, watching the chicks being fed. Waxwing, as I just said, is one of the most beautiful bird here. The shades of orange, green, yellow. The tip of the tail is yellow. The two dots on the feathers, backside, red in color, like the cherry. Well, they love cherries, and that's what she is feeding. There are many variety of berries out here, which these birds love.
Cooper's Hawk. This year, it has three babies, as you can see in this particular video. Do you know what do we call the chicks of hawk? Elias. They are actually learning to fly. There are three of them here. These chicks are of which bird? Hmm. It is the robin. few months old deer. After losing these spots, we call fawns as earlings. They can eat almost everything. Premolars and molars grow in two months baby teeth replaced by the adult teeth in about one and a half year though. A herd of deer crossing the river. The water is pretty high. It's kind of risky. But these young deer are making it. What a beautiful sight, watching a deer ripping off the valuable flowers and vegetation all around. That is a shot from Humber Arboretum. It is extremely beautiful. I thought, why not capture the beauty of Arboretum and the deer together? Amazing, isn't it? Every day morning, these deer, they come for their favorite food here. Both of them are pretty young, less than a year old. Fawns lose spots in about a month's time. After losing the spots, we call these babies as earlings. Premolars and molars grow in two months. 
And what you saw here was one of the deer, which was just about uh, two to three months old, enjoying the food. All the flowers and leaves, which he loves. Well, the baby teeth are replaced by the adult teeth in one and a half year. Even before that, they start breeding. Deer reaches the mature age, the female deer, in eight months and the male in about a year. Isn't that an amazing fact? Here is another rare moment. Rabbit feeding. I didn't really understand first when I was taking the video as what's going on and then later noticed the bunny. Oh my God. What an expression when the mother leaves all of a sudden. Snapping turtles visit us regularly. They remember the places where they are born and they return back. Do you know the average age at which the snapping turtle becomes sexually mature? It takes them at least 16 years. What a beautiful sight. Snapping turtle laying eggs. I had been waiting for this moment for a long time and finally got the shot of the snapping turtle laying eggs. In a clutch, there are around 40 to 50 eggs. It takes about two hours for the snapping turtle to dig the nest, make it good enough for laying eggs to cover it up and then return. After laying each egg, they are placed properly, space is formed and then the next egg is laid. And this is done at least 40 times. Seeing a baby turtle is a rare moment. They return to the river at night. I had gone very early in the morning to catch this shot and I was lucky enough to get one. Well, by this time, the ducklings are strong enough to be on their own. Still, they follow their mother.
Raccoon babies are fairly independent now. They can find food for themselves. But they live with their mother for at least one season. These holes in the tree are pathways for the house of raccoons. The raccoon babies are under watch of a falcon nearby. You see from each hole a baby is peeping.
They are very comfortable climbing a tree or coming down. Most of their time they spend resting on the trees. Late in the evening or early morning hours, they are seen on the ground along the river. They are omnivore and can eat almost everything. Here is another amazing sight, a rare moment. These are salmons which are spawning in Humber River. So in slow motion, you can actually see the salmon pink. They're pretty big, about a feet long. Every year I watch them fry the young ones can be seen after a few weeks. Salmon will leave after spawning. Some die and they form food for the other animals. Coyotes love to eat them. We have a variety of fish here. Humber River truly is extremely rich.
Yellow Lotus is an exotic variety rare in Canada. Here is a rooster. I had seen this rooster for five years from 2013 to 2018. All are not lucky to breed. This rooster never found a partner. But it was such a delight to see it almost every day. I used to chase and play. It was fun to watch the rooster flying across the river. People think they don't fly, right? Here is another amazing sight. The raptors mating. So what I captured here is something very amazing. So now look at the story and then watch this part again. The female was enticed by the male. Male offered food. The female got attracted. And then they mated. After the mating, see what happens. The male tried to get the food back. They literally. So after mating, see what happens. The male tried to get the food back. They literally fought over it and then they shared. Our babies also enjoy nature, my grandchildren. Whenever we get opportunity, we go for a walk and enjoy nature. Now, they can spot the animals much before I can.
Here is another amazing fact. Do you see the mother feeding the child? The mother is so small and the child is big. What does that tell you? Well, this is a chick of a cow bird. Cow birds lay eggs in the nest of wobblers and sparrows. And then poor wobblers and sparrows, they have to feed their chicks and this is what happens. Chicks are much, much bigger with huge appetite. I have seen the parents working hard, the foster parents of course, to feed the cowbird chicks. This is the chick of bee eater. Now this variety of bee eater is the, uh, is the biggest bird here amongst the variety of bee eaters. Chick is calling the mother waiting for being fed. Bee eaters are excellent flyers and they catch bees as the name suggests. All kinds of insects are in their menu. This bird is a chick. You know of which bird?
we'll end the video with this playful family people are scared of coyotes but they haven't attacked anyone in our area sometimes they might attack the dog walkers they're actually not saying anything to the humans but dogs they think are their food we'll be back to you with some more variety of wilderness in and around toronto i hope you enjoyed the series